Why are US nail salons almost always run by Asians? Tippi Hedren, she basically introduced immigrants from Vietnam to the business to help them get on their feet, and they took to it like fish to water. Thanks for the question. Not only are US nail salons run by Vietnamese, but most donut stores in California are run by Cambodians. The OG is Ted Ngoy who started a donut shop in Southern California, and then helped family and friends start their own. Watch the Donut King documentary. It's a fascinating story and explains why donuts are sold in pink boxes. The money is wild. I was a manager at my parents' nail salon. One tech could bring home 1,600 a week, and min 1,200 on a bad week. Commission was wild even without tips. This was in a lower income area of the city. In Germany it's mostly Vietnamese people operating them. I asked my Vietnamese tattoo artist and he said it's quite a cheap business to open yourself and that Vietnamese people are very good at this type of job. Tippy Hedron HTTPS There's a documentary about this called Nailed It. You can read the NPR article about it here. In 1975, Tippy Hedron was doing humanitarian work. She was running a program for 20 Vietnamese refugee women to resettle them in the US. They admired her nails, the care that she took, and she got the idea to get her personal manicurist, Dusty Coots, to come to the refugee camp in Northern California and teach these women how to do a manicure as it would be done in Beverly Hills. And they are really the first manicuring licenses out there in the world, because before that time, women always got licensed for both hair and nails. I need to watch that doc everyone is saying. Anyway, indentured servitude plays into some salons HTTPS. Some places are really difficult to immigrate from. So by necessity of the people that do that type of immigration are very ambitious. But they also tend to lack the connections and formal education to make it in the corporate world. This result is a lot of immigrant from South and East Asia starting small businesses. The actress Tippi Hedren had a large part in this. During the 70s, she was doing humanitarian work with Vietnamese immigrants. They needed a way to make a steady income. So she arranged for her manicurist to come to the refugee camp and teach them how manicures were being done in the Beverly Hills area. They took this training and started offering the same services in lower cost areas, and the trend took off. Same reason a lot of Indian people own gas stations around here. Decent business to buy into and once the path is paved, their peers can see a good way in. Applied economics. If you're new to the country, you gravitate to people who speak your language, who will most likely be originally from the same country. They are successful in nails, so they get you into nails. You eventually get successful in nails, so when your relatives come over, you introduce them to nails, and so on and so forth. Not any Asians. Southeast Asians. Japan, Taiwan, and South Korea are subject to regular US immigration restrictions, which include quotas that ensure only the best educated and most talented people get into the US, which is how we get the stereotype that Asians are so smart they aren't. But because we're selective of who comes here, our perceptions are distorted. The US is much more lax about Southeast Asian immigrants due to the Indochina wars of the last century. So the immigrants who come here are less likely to have a good education or exceptional skills, so they use their familial networks to learn skills like manicuring, pedicuring, and massaging, where they can eventually set up their own shops without all the overhead required to start a convenience store or gas station. Apparently there's a whole documentary about this, HTTPS. Locally, I know a Vietnamese guy who sets up nail salons to fellow immigrants as a sort of business in a box that not only helps them start earning money, but sets them up to bring more family over and expand. Because of this interconnected nature, they don't seem to see each other as competition really, so they are able to coexist well. I looked this up in the waiting area during one or my daughter's frequent trips. Tippi Hedron was responsible was an actress who volunteered with the Vietnamese refugees and they loved her nails. So she had people come in and tea do them how to do them which has had a ripple effect to this day. Source's memory, and the fact I have a 15 year old daughter who has gotten her nails done weekly to bi-weekly for three years whilst I sit there in the waiting area. Not Asian here but the simple answer. It's a low overhead business that you can make work really well if you have family workers. Like you still pay them all right, but rules for working at a family business are different. And I can't stress this enough. White folks just don't want to do a lot of jobs that involve like bodily functions. I have a few friends in college that work at a nail place and are fine with the work. But a lot of other kids who are not Asian are just grossed out by parts of the work and don't want to do it. The answer is successful families. To my understanding a family or group would help sponsor a person in essence they send them over with enough funds to get started, 
Then in return they sponsor folks from the same family or group with a job in the store and usually help with accommodations, after getting their feet under them they start their own store or send money back for another family to come, and then the cycle begins again. To my understanding this has been so successful in America with some business or areas you can link to a particular city or state of another country to that. I think I've seen or heard of a lot of donut shops, hotels, restaurants, and like you mentioned nail salons where one group of folks dominate it. I've been under the impression that local communities of Vietnamese immigrants business owners will pool their money to help someone get started, and then that cycle continues as new people arrive. But I am not Vietnamese and cannot speculate on how true this is. Here in Germany we have a shit ton of US style nail salons and every single one I have seen so far has nearly only Asians working in them. I have asked myself the same question. The real question is why do Asians own a majority of black hair product stores, 